GM, Ford knew about climate change 50 years ago. Pretty certain all corporations were aware and did not care. I mean, yeah. I personally learned about it in elementary school almost 30 years ago. Do people think this is a recent revelation? Am I taking crazy pills? Edit asterisk anyone remember the pilot episode, https colon slash slash www. YouTube. Com slash watch, V equals RR58 Hugna, of King of the Hill. Dale talks about global warming being a government conspiracy and Hank says if it gets one degree hotter he's going to kick Dale's ass. 23 years ago they were making fun of climate change deniers as crackpots, yet here we are in 2020 and they're still loud and proud. The idea of carbon dioxide causing the atmosphere to warm up, even the term greenhouse effect, first came up in 1824. HTTPS colon slash slash www. Smithsonian mag. Com slash smart news slash scientists talking about greenhouse gases 191 years 1809561466 slash HTTPS colon slash slash www. Smithsonian mag. Com slash smart news slash scientists talking about greenhouse gases 191 years 1809561466 slash. I can't find it, but I remember reading a 100 years ago article in Scientific American originally published around 1880 that talked about how fossil fuel consumption was increasing carbon dioxide, that would cause rising temperatures, and that more study was needed. This was settled science by the 1960s. It's been purely political for a long, long time. Many companies knew not just GM and Ford. Let's add the oil companies here too. Hippies were concerned about greenhouse gases in the early 70s. The ecology movement was generally derided as a bunch of dope smoking, long-haired commies and chicken littles. Told yeah, bitches. How is this news? 50 years governments were already looking at it. Papers were published throughout the 70s. Jesus 1970 was 50 years ago. My old ass is going to bed. 10 years ago I remember hearing about how GM, Ford, and oil companies knew about climate change 40 years before that. 20 years ago I remember hearing about how GM, Ford, and oil companies knew about climate change 30 years before that. I imagine that 10 years from now, we'll be hearing about how GM, Ford and oil companies knew about climate change 60 years before then. They did the math and knew it wouldn't affect them much. They instead denied it and got filthy rich in the process. The discoveries by General Motors and Ford Motor Co. Preceded decades of political lobbying by the two car giants that undermined global attempts to reduce emissions while stalling you. S. Efforts to make vehicles cleaner. Researchers at both automakers found strong evidence in the 1960s and 70s that human activity was warming the earth. A primary culprit was the burning of fossil fuels, which released large quantities of heat-trapping gases such as carbon dioxide that could trigger melting of polar ice sheets and other dire consequences. A GM scientist presented her findings to at least three high-level executives at the company, including a former chairman and CEO. It's unclear whether similar warnings reached the top brass at Ford. But in the following decades, both manufacturers largely failed to act on the knowledge that their products were heating the planet. Instead of shifting their business models away from fossil fuels, the companies invested heavily in gas-guzzling trucks and SUVs. At the same time, the two car makers privately donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to groups that cast doubt on the scientific consensus on global warming. It's almost like it wasn't in their best financial interest to care or do anything except help cover it up. So did insurance companies. Well, can't wait for them to promise to lower the carbon emissions of 5% of their total line by the year 2100. Bruh everyone did. Articles dating all the way back to the 1920s. However, they just decided to let another generation worry about it then do something about it. Why do you think the current boomer generation not care about the future of the planet? Where do you think they got that from? Shell report from 1988, 
http colon slash slash www climate files com slash shell slash 1988 shell report greenhouse slash http colon slash slash www climate files com slash shell slash 1988 shell report greenhouse slash they knew then and they know what's still to come page 25 Changes in ecosystem stability, disturbance of ecosystem structure and function and even local disappearance of specific ecosystems or habitat destruction could occur. This will be followed by an almost unpredictable, complex process of adaptation of the ecosystems to the changed conditions to reach a new stable situation, the so-called climax ecosystem. The time it then will take to reach a new stable situation depends largely on the seriousness of the disturbance of the ecosystems and, thus, on the effectiveness of the programs to protect the Earth's climate against change. The consequences and many of the socio-economic implications will be regional and local with large temporal and spatial variations. Given that the effectiveness of programs has been nil, their projection for the future is climate chaos, a plateau in which the world is greatly reshaped, and highly variable effects dependent on location, i.e. Some places get extremely fucked up while others are fine, which lines up with what we're currently seeing. Imagine knowing this, then spending money to spread disinformation and propaganda, https colon slash slash www. FTM, NL slash Dutch multinationals funded climate septic, so that climate change is still a debate. I grew up in the 70s. In elementary school we were taught about global warming and man-made climate change. In other words, we have all known about global climate change for 50 years. I remember the Save the Rhineforest stuff back in the 90s. So did we. We just called anyone a crackpot or commie who brought it up. Maybe climate change is the great filter. Any species aggressive enough to create a planet-wide civilization will be so caught up in short-term goals that any long-term problem caused by following short-term goals will be ignored until it exceeds that species' capacity to survive it or at least rebound to leave their planet. A lot of companies think quarter to quarter now. Few have a planning horizon beyond the next annual report. Moreover, we managed to moneyize our resources but never assigned any value to the systems which create our resources beyond land property rights. More and more it looks like we lack the collective wisdom to save ourselves. We just don't get it? Yeah, the Romans knew lead and asbestos were bad for people. Didn't stop some greedy motherfuckers from playing dumb when there was a dollar to be made off it? Same thing here. They've known since 1890. We've known they've known. We've been told by those many times and it's forgotten again and we relearn they knew. See you in two years when we learn again how these corrupt planet killing fucks knew about it and still made all this sweet sweet money money bag smiling face with heart eyes money bag sparkling heart money bag smiling face with heart eyes sparkling heart money bag. The world knew about it. There was still inaction. Reminder folks, 50 years ago was 1970. We knew a lot about stuff like this then. People tend to hear 50 years ago and think, 1950, or earlier, but that hasn't been the case for quite a while now. We all did, https colon slash slash you do, b slash z1 miv4 nkp 3g. Pretty sure we all knew. Heck I've known since the 80s as it was jammed down our throats as kids, I'm 41. I can't remember a time in my life where climate change wasn't known gasp. Keep on climate denying Republicans. It was about air pollution. Namely H.C., Co., and Knox. The Clean Air Act of 1970 was a monumental step in the right direction. Nobody worried about Co. 2 back then. I think us humans need to put a lot of these companies on trials for crimes against humanity and against the planet. They can't go without punishment for knowing and continuing to damage the planet without a single care. So did the US government, which could have legislated against pollution back then. It's a shame that the extinction event we're causing in the name of convenience is going to take down so much more than just our dumb asses. So did we.